Taronga Zoo is part of a recovery breeding program for a tiny endangered bird. One down, five to go. Is that five or four? After many months of preparation, keepers are fitting 50 Regent honey eaters with transmitters. They'll be monitored once they're released into their native forest in Chiltern, Victoria. To help them prepare for their new home, the birds are staying in tents to adjust to the cooler weather. They'll also sample some of the native blooms. As part of the recovery program, Tronga's education team and bird keepers worked with local students to raise awareness about the plight of the species and learn about their forest home. Collected the nests from the trees and then put them in a warm box and quickly drove them all the way back to, to Taronga Zoo. And then they raised those birds. And we collected birds from other places as well. Those birds had many babies, and then their babies had babies, and their babies had babies. And now we've probably got around 100 or so, uh, I'd say, with a, just guessing, about 100 or so birds in captivity from 13 um, founders that were caught from the wild. The kids are having a fantastic time. Um, Taronga are down here for two weeks. Uh, but the kids have come out for a day at the release site and, and tomorrow we'll be working with them out in the bush near their school looking at all sorts of things. But by all accounts they're just totally, they're just smiles all around. They're learning about the bird, they're learning how we release the bird, um, they're learning how to then monitor the bird afterwards and they're having a great time. To make sure that we pick up the bird moves. Straight that way? Okay, let's walk a bit further that way. It's the moment everyone's been waiting for. The birds are finally released. Good. Amazing. <laughs> it's fantastic, isn't it? Accomplished. I have no scar smeared down my face, can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> There's one just there. Two just flew back yeah. in. Yeah. Two in that oh, <laughs> They're really good.